Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. So, as you can see, I already had some paint done on the canvas. I totally forgot to press record, um, but it's no big deal. It's just some of the Artist Loft Flu Acrylic um, that I've put down for my base. And the technique that I'm going to be doing today is an open cup pour. And this is a 10 by 20 canvas that I'm working on. Um, I don't think I've posted very many open cup pours, maybe three or four. I do like the technique. It's, um, it's really cool how it makes those large cells and it does it without any kind of like specialty paint. Um, it's just not one of those techniques that is at the forefront of my mind when I go okay I want to paint something it's just never the first thought to come to mind um but yeah I do like them I like them a lot um I just don't do them a lot um it's a very beginner friendly technique I think um you can get some really cool effects without having to use silicone or any kind of specialty paint um when I do the um when I do the open cup technique I like to kind of prop my canvas up a little bit and let my cup like move down the down the canvas if that makes sense some people will pick it up and move it to a completely different location which I actually think I might it's been a minute since I've um since I recorded this, but I think I actually did kind of move it around on the incline and then place it in another location and do more little pours. Um, like I said, it's been a minute, but normally I just leave it like this and just let it run down the canvas. Um, but yeah, I bounced it around a little bit and then started over in a new spot. Um, but yeah, it's very beginner friendly and it's very versatile. You can do it many different ways um, and just get some really cool effects. You can throw some silicone in there and get really cool effects. Um, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's a great way to repurpose leftover paint. It, it's one of those where it uses a good bit of base paint, but it doesn't require a lot of um, color paint. Um, so... Yeah, it's just, if you've not done it before, give it a try. You just need, I mean, you basically just cut the cut the bottom off of a cup and you're good to go. And, um, yeah. Um, something I did notice, and I had a subscriber, in my last video I, I mentioned that I was finding bits of metal in the Artist Life Flow Acrylic. And a subscriber commented that there's another YouTuber who was experiencing um cell formation when using artist life flow acrylic that hadn't been happening before and it immediately reminded me of this piece there are no paints in this pore that cause cells these are all tube paints and i think i have the green colored one is the green apple from the Modern Masters. The rest are Artist Loft tube paints. Um, and there's no silicone. There's no Extreme Sheen. There's no Anita's. Like all the paints that we know. There's no satin enamels. No milk paint. All the paints that we know cause cells. They're not present in this. Um, but as the piece developed. I noticed those little pearly cells popping up and so whenever that person commented that on my other video it immediately reminded me of this piece and I and I, I did leave that in the video um, I think I put it on fast forward in the development stage and it did strike me as odd and I was like well maybe it's the Floetrol but I've been using Floetrol for a very long time and it's never caused those sort of cells with the flow acrylic. So it's really got me thinking that maybe the brand has changed 
formulation, perhaps. Um, I know Anita's does it because a lot of times those cells are only um, created with like metallic, sort of metallic paints or with the satin enamel. But Anita's does that um, kind of little tiny cell formation. You can see it's starting there on the it's my lower left hand corner you can see it and then there's some right there in the upper left hand corner that's starting to form but um it's something to do with the additives and so i'm wondering if artisoft has changed additives in their paint that is causing it now to create these little cells and you can see it like you can see it starting to form those little cells are starting to form and it doesn't normally do that I'm not complaining um, about it. I, I like the little cells. Um, it's just an observation that there's obviously been a change somewhere down the line. Um, I'm curious to know what that change is. Um, I don't think that um, if it's not a product that you're consuming or it's not like a healthcare product or something like that, or like a beauty product i don't think companies have to tell you when they reformulate their product um but yeah it would it would be interesting to know if artisoft has changed the formulation of their paint because it's now creating these little cells which is i mean it's pretty cool like i said it's cool that it's doing it um but just an observation just something that's piqued my curiosity um, like, why are you doing that now? Uh, <laughs> that's all. Not curiosity got the cat, but here you can see, this is where I go, um, fast forward. And you can see these things start to develop. Um, and, you know, it could be the open cup technique. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, just, but I do like the way it come out. Um. I think it looks really nice and um, it's dried now and it dried well there was no cracking or crazing um, nothing like that you see me go by multiple times torching um, that's just how I like to do it um, I do torching intermittently over about 30 minutes span of time and yeah um, but hopefully this um, this fast forward bit has shown you how those cells develop and it's just very unusual which Floetrol does facilitate cells but not this type of cells um, for those Floetrol users you know what I'm talking about um, these very small round uniform cells that's not really the what we see with Floetrol so anyway, here are some close-ups for you. You can see they look very much like milk paint cells. Hmm, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will speak with you all very soon. Bye!